It's the thigh for me. The thigh? It's the thigh for me. I should have started off with the thigh. Mm -hmm. It's the thigh for me, Willie Mays. Today we are trying Willie Mae's Scotch House. Um, they're supposedly known for the best fried chicken in New Orleans and I'm from New Orleans so we finna see if all the hype is what it is, right? Yes, I'm super excited. I've heard so many great things about this place so I'm really looking forward to trying it. Uh, I have the fried fish today. Tiff has chicken. We have llama beans, mm -hmm. macaroni and cheese. That Amber's probably skeptical about because yeah. she is real big on the mac and cheese. I am. I am. I love mac and cheese, so I'll be the judge. Mm -hmm. And then to we have that. some fried okra here. We also have red beans and rice, which is another New Orleans staple. We have a cornbread muffin, which they're supposed to give us two, and they didn't. So we're going to just put the cornbread muffin. The peas got thrown in there. I told Amber in New Orleans we always eat mm -hmm. fried fish with baked macaroni and peas. They probably just thought that was for her, but whatever. Yes. And then we have some cheesecake. Strawberry cheesecake. For dessert. I love cheesecake. Yeah, yeah. So, so I'm hungry. I want to like. Yeah, let's really dig in. Into eating. So this is our very, very first video. Yes. We, um, we were on a fast. Here you can have. Oh, I don't need all that bread. We were on a fast, like a 40 day herbal fast. And of course, when you're fasting, you're always thinking about what? Food. Yeah. Uh, always thinking about food. So while mm. we're on the fast, how how it tastes? It's good. It's I like it's like real good. I like it. It's so medium and like well seasoned. What type of fish is it? Did they this say is it? catfish. And Girl, wait. I personally cannot eat catfish without crystal hot sauce. I know that's real. Shout out to Crystal. Shout out to Crystal. <laughs> um, I want, I want a piece. <laughs> <laughs> you looking like it's real. Mm -hmm. Good. I like it. Let me put that empty container. Let me put that over there mm -hmm. on the table. Let me, let me try a piece. Hold on, because it is looking real. Mm hmm. It's fried right, right. It's that's in perfect consistency. All right, Willie Mary. <laughs> It's crispy. I'm not really mad. You know, for your fried chicken. But the fish is good. Okay. I'm going to try them. See, I got the red beans. I put them on the plate. Mm -hmm. Let me see how the red beans are. Okay. Let me, I'm going to try the red beans without putting like hot sauce and ketchup on it because mm -hmm. I normally put hot sauce and ketchup on my red beans. Like that's another thing that we always do here. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to try it without the hot sauce and ketchup. Let me see. It's cool. Now, what I do like about it is mm -hmm. they don't put any meat in their beans and stuff like that. So, it does have a different taste than what traditional New Orleans red beans and rice would taste like. Because most mm -hmm. people that cook red beans and rice in their house, they put a lot of, like, pickled meat, pigtails, and stuff like that. And so... It doesn't have that pickled meat flavor, but it does have a really good flavor. Like it kind of tastes like how a traditional like non-meat red beans and rice. Right. So right. It, tastes, it tastes good. So I do. You do like, like that? I do. I do like that. But yeah, so we were on our fast, and mm. of course, you're always thinking about food when you can't eat food. And so I called Amber one day, and I was like, I was we were looking on YouTube, but I was looking on YouTube at a bunch of food videos, and I was like, if I can't eat the food. I at least won't look at the food. <laughs> so I was looking at a Same. bunch of food and saw like a bunch of mukbang channels. And I would call Amber and I was like, we should do a mukbang. She was like, yes, let's do a mukbang challenge. And so here we are doing our very first mukbang for you guys. Yes. Um, as you can see, we are eating in the city. So we're going to be going around to all the different restaurants in the city, in New Orleans. That's where we're based. And when we travel, we're going to restaurants in those cities too mm -hmm. and getting food and featuring the different restaurants and telling you what we got from there, where you can find them. So again, Willie Mae Scotch House. We'll put all their information in the description mm -hmm. below so you know where to um, get them. But they're located here. Very popular, really well known. I had never tried them before even being from here. So it was good. And we just... We just literally put a bunch of restaurants down, put them in a little jar, shook it up, and pulled it. So they happened to be first. So 
you know, here we are. So, yes. Let me get into this okra, though. Taste of fried okra. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I snuck a piece of fried okra before we started filming because I was just that hungry. And Ooh, ketchup. it's all right. The fried okra, it could be seasoned a little better mm -hmm. to me. And I like fried okra. So, I mean, it's all right. Yeah, it's okay. It ain't better than this fried fish, I'll tell you that. It ain't better than the fried fish. <laughs> it ain't nothing mm -hmm. to really phone home about, but... Decent. It's alright. It's decent. It's decent. But I don't know if I would order it again per se. Mm -hmm. But then fried okra is something that you kind of gotta get like right out the grease, like that is fresh, 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 fresh out the grease. So you know, maybe that's the thing that with that true. too. But you know, so far so good. Fried chicken. It's good. I like it. I don't know if I'm, mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm gonna say the best in the city. Okay. Like, let me do a little bit more of it, but I don't know. It's, it's good. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> it tastes good. You like fried chicken? Fried chicken is good. Mm -hmm. That's not a problem. Mm -hmm. But I just don't know if I would say it's the best that I've ever had in the city. And I ain't talking about like at your mama house and I'm talking about like restaurant. Mm -hmm. So we're good. The lima beans are decent. They're decent. I think I would use one of my favorite seasonings, which is Tony Saturing. I got some Tony's. You know what? I might have to grab that. But yeah. They're good. They're well seasoned. It's just not as salty as I would like them. So, um, oh, okay. That's what I feel like. Yeah. A little salt. It's they kind of spicy actually. They kind of have like a spice okay. background to it, like spicy notes. But I'm ready for you to try that bacon cheese. Oh, that what I'm. I'm ready to try. That what I'm waiting on. I'm ready. I'm ready to try the bacon cheese. We gotta find a restaurant that's supposed to be. Let me clear my palate. Ah! Let me clear my palate. We need to find a restaurant like that's supposedly like known for their mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. So that way you can really try that. I agree. And see. <laughs> <laughs> but alrighty, here we go. A very harsh macaroni and cheese critic. So we finna see. So it smells. I know that mac and cheese is pop. I don't think you are gonna care for it like that. But, but let's just give y'all a close up. It look a little pale. <laughs> it does. It look a little pale. Let's see. Okay, it's not bad. Definitely could use more cheese. They use one type of cheese, two type of cheese, three type of cheese. No, they probably got more than one in there. See, I I use multiple cheese. It got to be five plus. Like, yeah. I need multiple cheese, but the texture is really good. I thought it was gonna be. You think it was gonna be a baked macaroni? Or you right. Think? I thought that, so. This isn't right. No. Right. I guess it's not a baked mm -mm. macaroni, y'all. Mm mm. It's not bad though. I would order it again. I'll tell you that. What, you want to try it? Yes. Yes. I need to see what your palette. Um, I'm not saying it's the best. It ain't better than mine. I need to see what your palette um, parameters the, the are when it comes to mac and overcooked. cheese. I could see that. Yeah. I don't like no overcooked noodles. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh. -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. No. Okay. Mm -mm. I would it's order not it again. that. It's not that bad. Mm -mm. Girl, I'd rather the spaghetti noodles in the dang on mm -hmm. plate. <laughs> Y'all, that is the thing here. You know, I don't know. I'm from the South as well. I'm from Texas. And when I got to New Orleans, I noticed that they have a thing here called baked, baked macaroni, which I thought was macaroni and cheese, you know. And it's actually made with spaghetti noodles or long macaroni, which is like, kind of looks like an elbow macaroni, mm -hmm. but like not mm -hmm. bent. It's like a mm -hmm. long... Mm -hmm. noodle and i i don't know for me i personally haven't had one that was just like oh my god this is the best or better than macaroni and cheese i don't like it but we're gonna, get, we gonna get y'all one day in the, in the uh on this channel where we go to a good old-fashioned new orleans <laughs> kitchen supper <laughs> and bring the plate and show y'all what we're talking about yes. you have a napkin please i personally yeah. i don't mind it i like it not that i'm talking about the 
the baked macaroni. The baked macaroni with the spaghetti noodles. Those y'all from New Orleans. Y'all know exactly what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. But that, mm -mm. it's like, I would say it reminds mm -hmm. me of like mm. cafeteria macaroni. Not, not. Now, do you want cafeteria macaroni? Like, a, like Piccadilly? Like Piccadilly, exactly. Like Piccadilly? No, it gives me that vibe. No, not too much because Piccadilly back in the 90s when I was a kid, girl, it was good. But now, such a disappointment. Or oh, the cornbread wasn't good. You like the cornbread? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You didn't even try it. No, yeah, let me see. They definitely gave us like two cornbread muffins. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Cornbread muffin is good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can agree. The cornbread, show them the cornbread muffin. Cornbread muffin is real good. Yeah, they could have, they should have definitely given us the. It's like the perfect note of sweet. It is. I don't like when I go to like restaurants and they have cornbread and it's um, savory. I don't like savory. Cornbread. Yeah, that's some good cornbread. Mm -hmm. Now, best fried chicken. Mm -hmm. Good fried chicken. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Good fried chicken, but I don't... The best in the city part... We're going to hold off on that. That's still up for debate. That's <laughs> up for debate. Amber don't eat chicken, so she can't concur. Yeah. But I am a chicken connoisseur. I love chicken. If I'm going to eat chicken, I need it to be in the bomb.com. So I don't feel able to come with that. But like I said, it is good. I'm not I'm not flexing on it. Mm -hmm. It is very good. But if you're going to say you are the best fried chicken in the city, I'm going to... My expectations, like, guys, mm -hmm. I'm expecting a lot more than just Question. some regular fried chicken. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about the crust? So, that's... Okay. I don't know if it... It could be better. So, I don't know... Okay, so we ordered the food, obviously. Picked it up, brought it home. Mm -hmm. But Amber had our food like in a heat contained bag to keep the food hot and stuff like that. So, I don't like crust from chicken and stuff and get a little... It's still crunchy. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I mean, all I have to say, it's okay. I mean, the skin is all right. When it first took out the bag, I was kind of like... Mm -hmm. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it just even from looking at the crust. Mm -hmm. It's light, it's like a light batter. It's not like super heavy. It's not like a Popeyes type crust mm -hmm. or even a church's crust. You know how like KFC? I already know what you mean. The crust was a little like Soft. softer. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like that. Well, the unique thing about them is apparently they fry their chicken with a wet batter. So. They don't do it with mm. actual flour mm. and then drop it in. They're dropping it in. It kind of looks like a pancake kind of consistency mm -hmm. uh, when I was looking at some videos about it. But. So they don't use they don't use like a hard, I mean a dry flour, period. They probably just mix it all with the wet batter. Exactly. And they drop it in the fryer and mm. it's like a wet batter, which is, you know, makes their chicken unique or different. Maybe that's but what I was they curious did. about that. Maybe that's what they did because... <laughs> It's, I mean, it's cool. Mm -hmm. It don't taste bad at all. I mean, I would get fried chicken from them again, but I just don't know if I would say it's the best in the city. Right. Like, I'm not going to go all the way there just for the fried chicken. Mm -hmm. like, no. I mean, this is mm -hmm. on the shot. We can get fried chicken mm -hmm. at the corner store. That is true. Mm -hmm. With old girl you know from the hood in the kitchen in the back, so... Fried chicken. Yeah, that's a really big thing here in New Orleans as well. Like, I, that's something I kind of have to like adjust and get used to because people literally like eat out of the corner store. <laughs> that was different for me because when I grew up, like, <laughs> I don't recall going to the corner store for too many meals. You know, well, whatever. <laughs> people actually eat like, out of the corner store, store. <laughs> right? And like, I was like the gas station. But the funny thing is, like, a lot of y'all corner stores is not actually gas stations. Like, they don't sell gas. So. <laughs> no. That was it's the corner the store for me. Exactly. Kind of like, you know, New York. Yeah, like New York. Like um, a it's like a, like a bodega. Mm -hmm. It's like a bodega. So if you're from New York, then it's like a bodega. Now, the difference, I'll say, between the bodegas in New York, most of them, mm -hmm. versus here is, well, some of them do. But in New York, a lot of the bodegas sell fresh produce because that is like the grocery store of mm -hmm. the neighborhood. So they have 
convenient items, and they have um, produce. Our corner stores don't really have a lot of produce. I mean, you might find some that have produce, but it's not like a big thing. Like we'll have like a meat section in the back of the store where the kitchen is, and they have like the butchers. They have like all the different meats. You can get a bunch of meat specials and this and that, and um, you can even get hot food out the kitchen, but produce is kind of like it's a hit or miss it really just depends on what store you're at what the neighborhood is whatever, whatever so but yeah that'll be the only major difference between the new york bodegas and the new orleans corner stores is the produce but it's kind of like the same thing but yeah we can food and i don't yeah because the bodegas in new york a lot of them um sell hot food that you can like buy mm -hmm. so yeah we do but, yeah but i'm excited so we decided to start our own channel. Mm -hmm. I was telling my dad today. Mm -hmm. If we're gonna be filming a YouTube channel, he's like, "Oh, what y'all gonna be doing?" And I was like, "A mukbang." He was like, "What is that?" Mm -hmm. And so I was telling him what a mukbang was. Mm -hmm. He's like, "So y'all gonna just sit there and eat and talk?" Yes. I was like, "Yeah." He was like, "And people gonna watch y'all eat and talk?" I was like, "Yeah." And that is a thing. Welcome to 2020. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really excited too. Number one, love to eat. I know. Let me taste some of this. I ain't taking. Oh yeah, these? the peas were good. You were. I was waiting because you were something else. Do they have like a? Do they have like a sweet taste to them or no? Mm -hmm. They do. Yeah. I like sweet peas. That's another thing here in New Orleans. Like, <laughs> I've never been anywhere and like peas is a thing. Like, you know. Mm -hmm. You like them? Girl, I like y'all peas. <laughs> y'all cornbread muffin. The fish. Now, I'll go back for the fish. Mm -hmm. I like it. The fish. The fish is good. The red beans, they're mm -hmm. good to me because like they taste like how I would cook my red beans. I don't cook my red beans with meat. So, when I don't eat pork, so I don't cook my red beans with um with meat. So, they taste like how my red beans will taste mm -hmm. pretty much, right? Could I use? I could use a little Tony's too. It's yeah, fine. Just a slight little. Yeah. You know. <laughs> it's fine. You want to taste the red beans? I ain't eat off the sure. side. Yeah. And I put Did you taste the lima beans? Do you like lima beans? I do. Let me see. I do. Now I put ketchup and hot sauce in mine. That's fine. But now I don't, they don't need to put this parsley up in here like this. This fresh parsley, they could keep that. <laughs> I just got a whiff of it with a my nice beans. little garnish, you know? No. Yeah, I know, but I don't, mm. I don't usually like eat it, eat it. Those are good. Oh, yeah, so. they cool. They will season. They yeah, they, they cool. They're good. I mean, they taste how red beans would taste mm -hmm. if you don't have pickle meat in them. So, mm -hmm. and we don't eat pickle meat, so that's just how our beans will taste. And I, I say that because I could very well like just cook these at home. So, mm -hmm. oh, butter beans, are, I like them. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, okay. So all the sides is good. I like the, let me not rag on the chicken. I do like the chicken. <laughs> it's just, when you say you're best in the city, I just. And that's a hard spot to kind of. My expectation yeah. level is a little, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, when you're trying to say, it's out of that film. When mm -hmm. you're trying to say you're the best, you just got to really like be on it, on it, on it. So. Gotta come with it. Okay. Yeah, but. Let them know what they can expect from our channel. Yeah, so basically, um, <laughs> expect a lot more, um, I guess you can say a look into New Orleans food, underground food, things that don't even really get highlighted here. Um, I guess also too, I guess you could say our friendship displayed on camera. Oh, yes. Because we're always together. Yes, We yes. hang out a lot, so I'm yes. like our dynamic on camera. Really best friends, really good friends, so. Yeah, that's what probably be the real, the real gag. Cause see us on camera and our dynamics and how we are, whatever, whatever. So yeah, yeah I'm excited about it. Me too. We're talking Amber. We're like, look, we gonna just get on here. We gonna just eat. We gonna talk. We gonna just do us and whatever come out, come out. <laughs> we ain't doing all that extra. Oh, cut that out. We ain't saying. We just see what you get. Right. We ain't all that tech savvy, so it's kind of a one and done type of thing. <laughs> so we, we even we, before we started recording, we was like, look, you ready? Because once we start eating, 
That's, that's, that's kind of it. Ain't no, ain't no do overs when you're doing a mukbang. That's the thing. Like, with mukbangs, ain't no do over because that's true. when the food is gone, you can't just produce more food. You can't put it back. Okay, it before back. I get too full, I do want to try this cheesecake. I love cheesecake. I know. I'm going to try it too. I'm going to try it. I really do like cheesecake. I was surprised they even had cheesecake. Like, and especially it's a place that closed kind of early. It's like a mm -hmm. lunch type spot. So right. it's like the fact they even have cheesecake. I'm looking forward to it. It looks legit. Let me get y'all a little I like that macaroni. <laughs> that macaroni. I don't tell that. Oh, not too much? I, no, I want the grind one to fall. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had them little, you know. I didn't want to like tumble over. I know. Okay, okay I don't take the first bite. Willie Mays. <laughs> now, cheesecake is a staple. Oh, well, maybe we should do that. Like, we're going we gonna to do our different dessert little things. We're going to have a whole bunch of little mukbangs for y'all. No, you get yours, so we'll taste at the same time. Oh, yeah, sure. Let's do that. And we can see what we think. You ready? Okay. One, two, three. Mm. I like the texture. It's a little softer than your average cheese. Yeah. I didn't really get the taste of graham cracker, but what do you think? It tastes so bar. <laughs> it do. It tastes so bar. Like it's not bad. I feel like it does. The only thing that makes me feel like it's not so bar, right, is the fact that like the texture of the actual. It's like real creamy. Like I don't know how to describe it to y'all, but it tastes like celery. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I like it. I like Sarah Lee. I like Sarah Lee. It's good, but it tastes like Sarah Lee. I can go to the Rouse's. I like it. No, I can go to the and get it. It's good. So how, much, how, much, how, much, how much was the cheesecake? Only five dollars, y'all. It was five dollars. That's reasonable. We could spend five dollars on a whole one. That's true. But what I will say is, it's I, good though. I would appreciate a little bit more crust at the bottom because yes. like the crust is like. And on the back. See how thin? Super thin. thin. Yeah, I do see it. It's like paper thin. It's a very, so very, very thin. You can even see on the side. See how thin the crust is? Mm hmm The bottom is like thin, thin, thin. But, and you know what? I like my graham cracker to be harder. Right. The whole like, thing is more soft. Yeah. So, I don't know if it was like not, it might not have been as refrigerated or they probably just made it. I don't know. I don't or know if they make them, it or they order it. Amber wants them to make that cheesecake so bad. <laughs> Well, I think they make everything else. I'm not sure. Amber wants them to make that cheesecake so bad. It is good, though. I'm just messing with the people. <laughs> I mean, I still do think it's still bought, but I think it's good, y'all. It's good. Overall, I think it's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, food is good. Y'all get to see us on our very first video mm -hmm. and kind of get a feel of what our chance. See all this extra? See? Mm -hmm. This ain't number extra crust. I, this is just crust. Oh wow! I don't need all that. That's a oh that that's a thigh. This a thigh. That's pretty large. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah. So our first video. So you'll get to kind of you know we just want to kind of eat and introduce ourselves to y'all while we eat. Kind of tell you the background of why we got started. Ironically enough, Amber had been wanting to do a mukbang. She said for a long time. I have so. I had never even really gotten into them. I was like, why you want to sit there and watch people eat? Like, what? We about to get out. She's like, it's, it's therapeutic. It really is. is. I love watching other people eat. So. Yeah, I wasn't into it at first until I was on that damn fast. And all I could do was watch people eat because I couldn't eat my dog on so. <laughs> and then I realized, like, okay, this is fun. I like this. And then she was like, you want to get into AMS? Wait, what is it called? ASMR. ASMR. I was like, no, not, not that's <laughs> where I that. I'm not doing the silence. <laughs> now that's where I draw the line with the hearing, just listen to people chew. Like, I don't know y'all. I might do that one later on down the line. Go ahead on, boo, have at <laughs> Have at I'll support you. <laughs> I'll subscribe. I'll double tap. I'll like, <laughs> I'll let the ads play throughout the video so you can get your coin. I'll do all that. Yes. But I ain't watching them. I don't want hear people smack and eat. Like, I don't, I don't know. They're hearing us smack and eat right now. But they're hearing us talk and the smackage is at a lower volume. That is hilarious. On there, it's like mic on mouth. And it's just like. Oh, my ASMR lovers. 
Y'all feel me? We, we right here. Y'all on. You know it's not touch no more that Oprah. It's good. It's just it kind of it's like churches. You know? Yeah, like real churches, like mm -hmm. this. Well, it looks like they use fresh okra just from like in here, but I don't know. That's okay. But yes, I just want to thank you guys mm -hmm. for being here, enjoying. Well, mm -hmm. hopefully, guys are eating, but if not. Just yeah, y'all could do that too. When y'all watch our videos, go get some food. Mm -hmm. And then y'all sit down with y'all food and eat and chat mm -hmm. with us. We can have like a dialogue, a little conversation. Yeah. And if there's any places either in New Orleans or even in your city mm -hmm. that you like, that you um, think that we should try, put it in the comments. We'll read the comments. And then, you know, if we're ever in your city, then we'll try that place and see what it's hitting for. You know, please be something good. Mm -hmm. Be something good. Don't be nothing that's the subpar because we're going to be honest. Like, we love our restaurants. We love them. But you still got to be honest about what you think about the food. Because mm -hmm. if people are seeing it and think about going there when they come, you know. You gotta be good, but Willie Mays, I will say, give him a try. Yeah, I'm gonna say overall, overall, yeah. it's also a New Orleans staple that's been around for a long time since like the 1950s or something. Yeah, so yeah, mm -hmm. and I think it's still family owned, is it? Yeah, I think I believe yeah. So. so. Yeah, so I mean, definitely talking about like I said, the chicken is good. It's not bad at all. I'm like, it's really not. It's just again, when you say best fried chicken, I'm like, I'm expecting to be like, oh lord, you know, I'm expecting to fall out. So <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just, not gonna do that. Hilarious. <laughs> I'm expecting to fall out oh, when yeah. you say best in the city. I ate a lot of fried chicken okay. in my day. So, when you say best fried chicken, now the thigh is better. You do like it the thigh? The thigh is better than, definitely better than what that wing was. So, you had a wing, a leg, and a thigh? Mm -hmm. Wait, why do you have a wing when you do I don't know. It must just, yeah. dark meat. Yeah, I, don't I, know, know. I don't know where the wing came from, but. I know you like wings. I do. Mm -hmm. I do like wings. But I do think the thigh is seasoned better. Better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. good. All right, y'all trying to win me over at the end. <laughs> Willie Mays trying to hear my comment. Trying to. You are so scary. Trying to work up a little extra something, something for Willie, Willie Mays. Who y'all got working for y'all? They say don't do On the other side, because. When I started talking, when I started getting up in y'all on this last piece of chicken, it started bringing in the flavors. I'm done. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. Now, it really Mays might have some other, uh, you know, people from the other side working for them, kind of sprinkling in this seasoning. You don't eat, you don't eat hot sauce on your, on your chicken? I do sometimes. I just didn't feel like it today because I put so much hot sauce in oh, my yeah, red beans. Mm -hmm. so I was like, yes. I didn't really feel like I needed it like that. Mm -hmm. But I do like to have um, ketchup and hot sauce on my fried chicken. So, mm -hmm. yeah, they ate all your food. I did. It was good, y'all. And it was good. Like, well, mm -hmm. mostly. Yeah, like the little empties of the fish are you full? I'm full. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they are good, though. I tried, you know, I ate the whole first one. My mm -hmm. plate looked like it's full just because I got all this extra skin and bone over here, but I really did, like, eat the Fresh chicken that's over here, and I don't have many beans left. It just looked like that because it's, like, so much skin. Like, mm -hmm. so much extra pieces. So on camera, it looked like it's. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Deal. They do give you a nice amount of food for the price. Yes. Now, that yeah. is true. Yeah. yeah. How much was the uh, fish plate? Uh, Both of ours was actually 15 a piece. Oh, yeah. It, it was oh, yeah. a nice amount of yeah. food. And yeah. that, that fish was huge. I don't know if y'all got to see it. But. And the size one was like $4. Mm -hmm. But like that, all that okra. Yeah. $5 for the cheesecake. $4 for the beans mm -hmm. and the peas. I guess we just got y'all they threw that in there, but that, that needed there. to be tested out. That was good. Yeah, the peas are real good. So overall, overall, I'll yeah. get there again. Yeah. I'll eat there again. Um, thank y'all for joining us on our first ever mukbang. We we'll have all kinds of we talking about. Right now, we're watching Lovecraft Country. Mm -hmm. So I know we're gonna probably get some episode in since we're already here and already together. We're gonna probably watch this little episode. Yes, and get that I'm in. Excited. That's very so excited. good. So if you haven't watched it. Go watch it. 
hands down it's so good it is, like it's, it's very powerful and it's a lot of messages in it yeah so i recommend it 100 percent. yeah so. absolutely 100 percent. but we gonna head out y'all i'm getting a little full so i don't want to overeat mm -hmm. even though now see this thigh is so good you don't want to stop eating the thigh is really good and i don't want to see i need the rest of the chicken to taste like the thigh i wonder why well it's probably in a different batter or I don't know. I don't know what, what was different about it. It's all it was dark meat, but yeah. with the maze. I'm about to get it, I'm about to get it fried chicken one more try. Cause this mm -hmm. thigh is the thigh is the thigh is getting it together. The thigh is giving me ooh, I don't want to I'm I'm satisfied and I don't need to mm -hmm. eat nothing else. But the thigh is so good that it's making me want to like continue eating. Mm hmm so, all right, Moody Maze. I may have to recant, but the jury's gonna still hold out on the best fried chicken in the city. But you are with this thigh, you a contender. You are so silly. You a contender with thigh. So, we'll yes. see y'all. Comment, like, subscribe, subscribe share. Yes. Tell your mama them, your daddy them, your grandma them, your babies, all of them. Tell them, come check us out. Next week, I think we have um, a vegan restaurant that's yeah. coming up next week. So, stay, stay tuned, tuned for that. that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Stay tuned for that. Yeah, so next week we have a vegan restaurant coming up. So, you'll see a variety of things here. Mm -hmm. And until next time, bye. Peace. So, how are we all fixing these thighs? I mean, the rest of the chicken. <laughs> Who cooked the thighs mm -hmm. today? Who seasoned the thighs? Who well, seasoned the thighs? That's not the season. All the rest of the chicken. <laughs> I gave y'all props. It, it, it came in at the end. It doubled back at the end. But that thigh. You are supposed to. Yeah, that's that. I just want to know that. It's a thigh for me.